Hi, I'm Sophie. This is Mia. This is Lola. Lola! Hello! There she is. Um, and Poppy's outside. We're making videos about our adventures we have when we're travelling. So I've parked here next to this water tower, which is right next to Delville Wood. See the wood in the background? That's uh, where all the South Africans were killed in the Battle of the Somme. So I'm going to go tomorrow, you can just about see down this road, that's where the cemeteries are. I'm going to go down there tomorrow morning and visit some of the cemeteries and the museums. That's too short to get it all right. First time around, you better not mess up. So we're in Delville Wood. It's got these sort of avenues marked out so you can walk around the whole wood. Um, it's it's not actually a very big wood. I thought it was way bigger. Um, I think the battle lasted for six days that South Africans trying to take this wood um, from the Germans in 1916 during the Battle of the Somme. Uh, but like we've walked around the whole wood in well, about 15 minutes. Um, it does have a really spooky feel to it. So this morning we were at the um, at Delville Wood. We were at the cemetery, the South African cemetery, but it's actually uh, soldiers from lots of countries. Um, and it's just it's two gardeners here. I've never been to such a beautifully maintained cemetery in my life and they've all got yes yeah, lawns and then they've all got flowers in front and roses as well on the other side so some of them have got names some of them a soldier of the great war a sergeant of the great war soldier of the great war irish guards and they all have known unto god on the bottom Instead of being unknown soldiers, Kipling came up with this no one to guard. Because of course there were known. <laughs> I'm here at the Commonwealth War Graves Memorial. It's the deep, the Thiep Val Memorial, and I'll just show you around quickly. Um, so it's being repaired at the moment. You can't really get up close. Um, it's designed by Sir Edmund Leighton's. Um, it costs a huge amount of money. I think it's completely over the top. Um, it has the names of 72,000. Um, people who don't have graves so um, yeah they're not unknown soldiers they learn unto God as Kipling called them so I'm on uh, one of the battlefields of the Somme this is um, Mehmet's wood behind me it's quite a small wood and uh, this is where um, the Welsh guards tried to take the wood from the Germans um, and there behind me is the Welsh dragon and it's holding barbed wire in its hands. I'll show you close up. Yes, it might be true. I'm a little bit out of my mind, let it sweep us off our feet without a fight. You know the sun can wait. This is borrowed time, they've come to nine, but still I bet on a miracle to happen. Is it really? So I've come to Tommy's, which is a, a famous cafe. Um, 
in Poziers, which is right on the Somme, but unfortunately it's closed. You can still see signs of the trenches around here. Nothing is completely flat. There's always holes, weird holes somewhere. Down there there's a big trench down on this side as well. And there's the road leading to uh, OK Farm. So I'm at Perone campsite. Perone is an hour and a half from Calais. Um, it has a chemist which does COVID tests. It has a dog, it has a, sorry, a vet which can do your um, tapeworm pills for you. And it's also got lots of shade actually. There. It's got really big pitches and um, it's got a huge swimming pool, bar, restaurant, all the rest. Quite a nice campsite actually, um, and it's a hell of a lot nicer than cafe. Outside the vets. Here we are, Clinique. Here. here we are. We're here at Eurotunnel in France. The pet reception is now a drive through option, just like McDonald's. Let's we'll see how we can manage this. Yeah, so this is uh, the drive-through place. It's just like a big sort of garage building where you've got to go through. Here we are, the dogs have got a bit hot in the car. There's Lola. So I'm still here. It's taken me like an hour to book in. And they've already done 45 um, well, cars with dogs today. But... Um, so here we are, we're now going to check in for the Eurotunnel, the usual way. So I'm at the COVID checkpoint now, getting my papers checked for COVID stuff again. 